What's up guys, this is Jimmy with High Fly Strength Systems. I'm also a coach at Columbus Lifting Company, as you might be able to see over there. I don't know if you can see it in the frame. Uh, but anyway, I wanted to just talk to you about how to get tighter on deadlifts, especially the sumo deadlifts. And what I mean by tight is mostly the upper back. A lot of people can get tight in their hamstrings, that's another video. But I just want to talk about a little bit how to get tighter in your lats and what you can do to actually get, improve the starting position. So, I just finished up the deadlift workout. I'm not going to go on anything, do anything crazy. But, first you're going to sit up like you would normally, right? Uh, and I think it's really important to start out tight. So start from the top. I like setting up from the top. I think it probably will benefit most beginners and just most lifters overall to start at the top and get tight and set up at the top. Um, so obviously we're going to continue to learn how to breathe. That's something I always talk about is breathing in the belly, breathing in the core, your diaphragm, using the Vassalva maneuver, etc. But assuming you know how to do that, the next step here is to tighten the upper back. So when I get down here, I'm going to breathe tight, position myself, stack everything on top of each other, drop down in position. Notice how slow it took me to get to the bar. What I'm doing there is I'm loading my hamstrings. So I talked about how it's a future video, but it's really important because if you just drop down, you're going to be real loose in your, loop, on, in your low back and your hamstrings. So it's important to be tight on the under half of your body and also by being tight there, you're going to be able to improve the tightness of your upper back. So I'll drop down. Right here, this this movement is activating my lats. I'm pulling my shoulders down. I'm almost pulling my shoulder blades um, down into the, into the socket and pulling my shoulders into the shoulder girdle. Right? So you don't want to be shrugging up when you do deadlifts. So we're going to bring it down, flex the lats a little bit, come down slowly. We don't want to lose position. And then once my fingertips touch the bar, get to the bar, that's when I start tightening up my lats. All right? So. Go down, tighten my right arm, tighten my left arm. Then right here, what I'm going to do, see if my shoulders are forward, I'm going to pull them back. Just right there, I was able to increase the tightness to pull the bar off the floor. So you should not be so tight in the upper back that if you needed to, you could pull mostly with your upper back off the ground. A lot of people will get down here and they won't be tight at all. The only way the bar is going to come up is if they use their hips and usually if they're not tight in their upper back, their hips are going to rise up forward and then they're going to almost conventional build with the pull. So, starting position again, breathe, pull your, pull your lats down, your shoulders down, breathe again, slowly get into position, only go down as low as you need to for your fingertips to touch the bar. Then I'm going to pull my shoulder blades back again, because usually they get too far over the bar, you want them just over the bar only enough to put you in a good biomechanical position. And then I'm going to maintain that tightness. I'm going to grab my left arm and then rotate that left arm, lock the lats in. And I'm here, I'm, I'm ready to go. Lock back super tight. I'm going to show you what that looks like from the side. But overall, what we're trying to do here is, usually we'll sit up here and we're going to try to pull it back and down and locked. So this is what it looks like, like this is what it looks like from the side. Pretty simple drill. Uh, it's really to just work on rotating your elbows inwards. What that is going to do, hopefully, it's going to rotate your shoulder as well. So this kind of movement is what we're looking for. Um, if you find that your front delts are coming above your chest, it's probably a good sign that you pull them back. So essentially, we're trying to fire everything on the upper back about nipple high. Uh, on the anterior side of our body, the posterior side of our body. So that's all I really have to say to you guys today. 
hopefully you're able to learn from it. Um, yeah, so try to implement that essentially right away into your deadlift routine and we'll see how, what kind of results you get from it. As always, I encourage you all to rise from